Hi YouTube, this is Felicia with Bible Scraps and I made this video last night and decided to redo it today because my lighting just wasn't good last night. I I was up for a while last night. I made these like at 11 p.m. But they're so cute, you guys. By the way, welcome to another Tuesday Morning Crafts video. It's all about using items you can find at Tuesday Morning to create. And many of you know, well, if you follow my live videos, you guys know I am head over heel about Jen Hadfield. I have found a designer after my own heart. I love her stuff. Okay, I do have some live videos from Tuesday Morning. And I do have a haul, a Jen Hadfield haul, and I have a part two. There might be a part three, who knows. But you guys, this video is all about creating these very glitzy, um, jeweled and crystalled and beaded wood veneer embellishments using, of course, Jen Hatfield wood veneer collections that you could pick up at Tuesday morning. Okay, we're going to jump right in and then I'll talk, well, I'll show you guys these a little later. But these are so fun, you guys, to embellish and jazz up and send um, as happy mail. Now, I got some tips and tricks for you guys. I am using an alcohol marker because you can easily color your wood veneer pieces. And this is one of the few times I enjoy using this broad tip, right? I used to think it's useless, but it's not if you want to color, and in particular, your wood veneer pieces. Look at that, you guys. Just as, I mean, this was so simple, right? If I want, I can add another coating. I can color both sides. I could even do the edges, but as you can see, if you can see, the edges are already colored brown. Okay, so... um. If I wanted to, I could just leave that just like that, right? And I am good to go, but I'm going to take it up a notch. <laughs> okay, so in the video last night, we made this one. Of course, you will not see that video, but um, yeah, that is so cute. That's a coffee pot or uh, is it a pot or a cup? A coffee. It's a teacup in my case because I don't do coffee. Okay, but you guys, this one is different from all the rest of them because I added a sticker. And I added a sticker from Jen Hatfield's sticker book here, which I just absolutely love. So we're going to do the same thing. Now, this is a house, but it could be a birdhouse too, right? Because there's birds in here. Uh... So I'm not going to add a bird because I want a smaller image. So I'm going to use a heart again. I used a heart in the video last night. And I'm just going to put it right in the center. Just like, well, that's not in the center, but that's a okay. Now, I am liking how my pieces turn out when they're colored. Um, and because I have yellow still on my desk. I'm going to go ahead and use it and see how easy it is when you use this broad tip to color your wood veneer. It goes on so easy, so smooth. I love these embellishments. They're quick to make. Christmas is right around the corner. Okay, so you see some brown. That's because I have ink, brown ink on my fingers but that is a okay you guys now some things you will need well you need your shake shake whatever type of shake shake that is in addition to shake shake you need glaze now you can use white white glue but I am using glaze and I'm using a recycled Zazz sticker glue bottle this sticker glue you guys if you saw my video or perhaps if you purchased this glitter before it is not the best um, some colors work better than others but I shared a video oh we're doing this one I shared a video um, showing how you can 
upcycle these bottles okay so you guys there's really nothing to this I want a different color handle so I've added glaze just to the handle and the shake shake okay you can use crushed glass this came from Tuesday morning I love this stuff you can use micro beads and all of my examples I've incorporated the micro beads the crushed glass you can use glitter and different types of glitter um, let's see I want to use a color I have not used okay which is black so what I'm doing you guys I'm using a big bottle cap tray use whatever you have and I've just added some crushed glass to the handle and the handle only and because I am not I'm just not into being perfect anymore I am using what God gave me and I'm so grateful for my hands I've poured my crushed glitter back in my hands back in this recycled jelly I dropped my lid jar I picked up a set of these jellies from Costco I think last last year and I just could not throw away the bottle not with the gig on top right so I keep different types of shake shake in it okay and so just that quick you guys right look at that pretty handle you know I am liking that black and yellow okay so now I mean if I wanted to I can make you know let's make this different colors why not now when you when you get really good at this you could add glaze and I'm gonna do that right now actually over the whole surface and add different colors uh-huh if you're careful you can do that or you can do like the painting by color if you guys ever heard of that style you add one color and then you add another color and then you add another color I actually did that when I created this butterfly with four different colors of crushed glass and in the center I have micro beads and then I have glitter so you can you can mix your different shake shakes okay so what color do I want to use you know what because I have not used these are my micro no my Martha Stewart different glitters I haven't really used any of my confetti shaped so let's let's use some hearts love this color here gonna sprinkle some on just like that and shake shake the rest of it off using my hands once again you guys to recycle you know I am so done with trying to like save every single speck and crumb some some I will lose now if I have a lot of shake shake left over like on my paper here I can scoop it up and make like a confetti piece right but I am so not into trying to be perfect, trying to save every scrap. Ah, life is too short. Our crafting time is too short, right? Okay, can you see the hearts and the stars? I can. All right. You could also use the seed beads, the small ones. It may not work as well if you use like, because you can use spray glue. But spray, spray glue will not hold your chunkier um, shake shake that well. But it will hold the glitter. Okay, and so why not uh, add some micro beads? Now, you guys, I am a micro bead fiend. I have these jars of micro beads by Martha Stewart. I have tubes of micro beads. I have the, this size micro beads by Martha Stewart. My whole collection fell behind a table, so I can't get to it right now. And on top of all that, you guys, I have micro beads by the pound. <laughs> I'm a sucker for micro beads. Okay, so let's add some gold micro beads. Take off this cap. And just like that. Now, 
what you can do as well well I can see where I need to add more glaze so I'm going to do that and then I'm going to finish off my piece with fine glitter just to fill in some gaps now this is the first time I'm filling in any gaps with fine glitter on my other pieces I didn't do that and you know white well no I was going to add some glaze right to that heart but I'm not going to do that yet okay let's use let's use this color of glitter I'll just sprinkle some on just like that and then the last thing I'm gonna do it's kind of messy oh you know what I need to add more let's add some of this color shake shake now when you're working with different sizes of shake shake it's a good idea to start with your thickest or your heaviest your chunkiest shake shake first and then use your finest, the finer graded Shake Shake last. But that's how it's looking so far. And what I can do is, if I want my heart to stick out, I'll just add more glaze. Now I'm gonna have this glaze linked below. You guys, I buy it in the large container and then I just pour it into this container here and it may seem like you're using a lot of glaze but people I've been using the same bottle for months right a little goes a long way and it's kind of messy let's see if I can flatten out this is the first time I'm using a pen to flatten it out it will settle but I think that is so cute and because it has a handle it becomes a charm now some tips for you guys uh, well pour your glaze and when you have enough glaze don't pour it you could use the tip to to um, not smear it but to spread it and then if you just let it sit for a second it'll tend to spread by itself but let's take a look at some of my examples okay so we made this one now, once again, you can just leave it colored. You cannot do anything to it at all and leave it bare and it's cute. But just by adding color, you see how nice that looks. Now, if you want to, too, you can add a sticker and call it a day, right? This one here, I did not color, but you see I used, um, I used crushed glass and microbeads and love that. This is a nice charm as well this mason jar oh my goodness so stinking cute you guys and did we look at the collections okay yeah this is how the collection looks I have yet to open this one but there are six collections available if not seven and so I used to make these pieces here I used along the way and I also used simple life and then I also used Patio Party. And you'll find these various shapes in these three collections. But this mason jar is stinking cute, right, you guys? Um, I colored it yellow. And then I used a product that I absolutely love, which is called Diamond Dust. I'll have that linked below. Let me show you how it looks. I have some. I think this is it right here. Now, there's black specks in there because I got some black specks in there probably dark microbeads but I buy it in a large container and if you want that like translucent look you can you can either color your wood veneer piece or not color it because here I just added the diamond dust to it and it gives gives like a a crystal effect and I love that and I love that my mason jar has a different color lid we saw the butterfly. Take a look at the leaf, you guys. Green crushed glitter and green microbeads. And then this little coffee cup because you can find the same shape pieces in different sizes within the collections. And look at the birdhouse. I love that one. I colored that one brown. So, you guys, these are just super fun, right? These are fun to make. I will head to Tuesday morning today because I want to pick up more of these. 
I am in love with Jen Hatfield. I have more Tuesday morning crafts coming your way because I, I want to make some fall tags using her paper pads and her washi tape. And she just has a whole collection of stuff, you guys. You can find her homemade collection at Tuesday morning. And within that line, I should call it a line. It's the homemade line. Within it, you can find right now six different collections at Tuesday morning that consist of paper pads in at least three different sizes, the wood veneer pieces, stickers, um, ephemera, clear stamps, um chipboard embellishments and a whole lot of other different things you can find within those collections that's that's in the homemade line all right all right if you like this video why not like it give me a big thumbs up subscribe share check out your tuesday morning check out my links for the glaze that i use and the diamond dust and i want to thank you all for watching as always blessings